Hello guys, I always want to say good morning but it's actually afternoon for me right now. But whatever time you're watching this, whether it be morning, afternoon, good day. This week, or this Monday, I should say, we're kicking it off with a full day of editing and I've just uploaded and edited my charity shop haul which for you guys will already, already have been up. See what I did there? So if you're yet to see it, I'll add a little card and link in the description if you're into that kind of thing. I just had a delivery, so I'm just gonna pop you down here. So I'm like opening most of my blogger mail on camera during these vlogs, I hope you guys don't mind. It's not like a bragging thing or like, look what I've got. But I personally, when I watch people's weekly vlogs or like even daily vlogs, I love it when they open blogger mail on camera. So. Maybe that's because I'm a blogger though. I don't know, let me know what you think. But either way, I will show you what I got here. And inside we have, okay, this is from a brand called Aurelia. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have tried their products before and really liked them. It's a jewelry brand and that is their Instagram handle and all their little information there. So this is what they have sent me. Firstly, oh wow, I love them. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so these are 18 karat gold plated. This first one is, it's got like semi-precious stones on it. It retails at 25 pounds. This is what it looks like. And is this a bracelet? Or, I think this is a bracelet. There's another one here. This one retails for 28 pounds. And I love like gold jewelry at the minute. So this one is gold plated as well, which always helps because they're less likely to tarnish when you get like, nickel based or like high street based jewelry where it just tarnishes straight away it can be kind of frustrating so uh yeah moving on we have this which is a pair of 18 karat gold plated earrings they're like little hearts which is all kind of like semi loop with little diamante bits on made with cubic zirconia. I'll leave a link to their website below because I really do rate their product. And then last but not least, this one comes in a little bag, so I'm gonna take it out. Again, made with semi-precious stones and again, gold plated. Oh, this is so pretty. I love like the beaded, I'm not really sure the term of it, but you know when chains have little beads, very, very subtle beads running throughout the whole chain? I love that. And that is what this has. So this retails for 28 pounds. And that is what the little gem looks like at the end. Love that, white gold, very me. And in fact, I might put this one on now. Oh yeah, that layer's quite nicely. I put that on the loosest, but I could do it up even a little bit higher. But yeah, how cute is that? I absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Aurelia, for sending me some of your goodies. Oh, they have a discount code here, which I can give to you guys, Freya15, for 15% off any order. I love it when brands give back to you guys as well as followers. So I will leave the information down below if you wanna shop them yourself or check them out. Tom's just messaged me, he's out in Leeds all day today, but he needs me to just run him a quick errand in Burnley. So I might head into some shops. I've got two things I need to take back to Primark as well. So I might do that whilst I'm there and it's already three o'clock, so I'm gonna have to go. Just before I do go, I'm just gonna mention this lip color because I really like it and it's a good transitional into autumn color as well. I know we're not there yet, but uh, thinking ahead, it's well by MAC and I really like it, but it's not the lip liner, it's actually the lipstick. Uh, kind of dark, kind of vampy, a bit different for me, but let me know what you think. Makeup lovers out there, I know that that's the sort of question that I would typically ask a YouTuber that I follow, so there you have it. Well, the sun's back out. Not complaining. I'm not complaining. Us British are terrible for it. Oh, it's miserable. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's too hot. We're useless. We are useless. Okay, let's go. I'm just gonna nip into TK Maxx because I have no reason to rush back home. It's rush out now anyway, so I'm gonna have a quick look. Let's see what's in store.
Okay, trying on. I've got these Stradivarius jeans. They are a 12, but I'm gonna try them on. I'm thinking maybe cut these into shorts, like wide leg shorts, because, I mean, two pounds. Because they're like super, super wide leg with a slit, which I don't, I'm not a fan of, but I think they're gonna be too big. And then this is a dress from Topshop, which is 10 pounds. Thinking races potentially, which I've got coming up with Haydock, as with this one. This one is 14.99 from River Island. This one is only 5.99 misguided. And then this is by a brand that I keep seeing in here, I've never heard of before other than TK Maxx Japna. Uh, $14.99, I just love the look of that, it's like a little jumpsuit. So I'm going to try all these bits on and see how I go. Yeah, these are in now, they're too tight here, this is like a common problem for me. And then, absolutely massive here, so, no, even if they are only two pounds. This is the misguided dress, it's nice, but it's just too short for me. I'd feel uncomfortable with this. If it was a midi dress, I would have got it, but no, too short for me. Okay, this is the River Island one. It's it's nice, but I don't love it. It's, it is a 12, so it's a little bit big here at the back. But again, very, very short, but the fabric of it is really nice. So if you've got good legs, like killer legs, this one would be nice, but I don't think I do, so. Okay, this is the Topshop one, which is a bargain at 10 pounds, but I don't need a dress and I'm not in love with it, so for that reason I'm not going to keep it, but um, it is really nice, again the fabric is really really thick on this one and it like crosses over at the back. Okay this is the jumpsuit which I do like, um, but I like the idea of it I think more than the actual fit of it, it's a little bit like big here, which I think this bit should be quite fitted. Um, but I love the like design of it, this like print, this white and beige print I love, but yeah, it just it seems a bit ill-fitting, that's all. Definitely just hit you there, sorry girls. Off back home via another TK Maxx, which is closer to where I live, just because I just remembered to get a gift for, we've got some friends having a baby, so I'm putting together like a little hamper for when she will be born. Oh, look how sweaty I look. I'm shiny. It is so like hot today. I didn't, I like underestimated it and I'm in black jeans. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab myself some dinner because Tom's just said he's got a meeting tonight, so he won't be home till later on. So that's my plan for the rest of this evening and I might see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone, today is Wednesday. Yesterday I pretty much just like chilled out. Um, no I didn't, <laughs> I got loads of work done. As in hair up, no makeup kind of day and ended up just doing that and then did go to the gym later on in the day. But that was about it really, so I didn't vlog and today I'm off to Manchester this morning to meet with Lydia and Hannah, so I figured I would vlog today. And I also got a few parcels delivered yesterday, so I thought I would open them before heading off to Manchester. This dress, by the way, I'm, I've like bought it as a beach dress kind of intention from Zara. It was in my Zara haul if you saw it. But I actually really like it. And I've got this little like slip dress on from Primark um, underneath, which is like, it's got lace at the bottom there if you can see. So I just wear that under it. As a little bit of just an extra coverage because it's kind of a little, it's not sheer, but it's like intended purpose when I bought it was more of a beach dress, but yeah. I really like it. Anyway, moving on to the parcels. This is from Hourglass. Celebrate National Lipstick Day with Selfridges, Trafford and Hourglass. They have released their new girl lip stylo. Okay, so this is in the shade Lover and it, that's what the packaging looks like. It is like a crayon style kind of orangey red. Really, really like that color. For me, in summer, I don't, mind wearing like a bright orangey red like that on the odd day i just think it's really um like flattering against tan skin so yeah okay moving on to this silver one here oh yes amazing this is from 
a new favourite brand of mine. Because I've been to a couple of events recently with La Mer, I've had the opportunity to try out their products and their moisturiser, the cooling gel one, I'm obsessed with. I keep it here on my table to use it every morning and evening. So they have sent me, let's see what's inside. Hydration reimagined for masking on the go. Okay, so we went to a brunch with them recently and they said that they've got these new face masks that they're launching so that is what that is. Dear friend, we're excited to share with you La Mer's brand new The Treatment Lotion Hydrating Mask launching 23rd of July. We can't wait to see your mask selfie. Best wishes La Mer PR. And then they have also sent this. A cute little headscarf. It is silk and it says La Mer on it but it's in this gorgeous like beige and cream colour so very me. I might take this to Manchester with me today and at some point style it either around my bag, you could do it around your neck, you can have it as like a probably what I will use it as most often like a little hair bobble like so. I mean there's loads of different ways you could wear it. You could wear it on top of your head as well or like in a bun. Um, so yeah thank you so much Le Mer, for sending me that. I'm going to pop it on my pile of things to take to Manchester and then inside we have the face masks and then here is the treatment lotion thank you so much Le Mer. I'm literally obsessed with this brand at the moment I actually have felt the face mask before and it's really really cooling and like refreshing and you just pop it on for eight to ten minutes I already know this because they mentioned it like I said at the brunch pop it on for eight to ten minutes and then when you take it off leave the product on your skin and you can just like pat it in last but not least we have a box here from imagination pr so they work with quite a few different brands and they've sent me a range of products from their brands okay so the first one they've sent in the past and i use it pretty much every day it is the vichy derma blend um translucent powder a trusty favorite as is this i've tried this before elemental herbology it's their sheet mask again loving masks at the moment so excited to give that one a go like i said i have tried that one before though and liked it so excited for that never tried this one before this is the hyaluronic booster plus serum from elemental herbology so you put this on after cleansing and before moisturizing ah i'm stuck to this they have also sent me this from sanaflor it is their perfect skin creating botanical oil infusion rests and smooths out features renews radiance and infuses skin with light next up we have this from color wow it i've seen this before and it's kind of ideal for me i'll tell you why in a second but this is a root cover-up to so say if you've got gray roots coming through you can top up the roots with this it's like a looks like an eyeshadow and with a little brush that you just pop in but for me personally i have really really light baby hairs here so it always looks like i've almost got like a bald patch or a receding hairline um on both sides but there is hair there it's just so fair and so fine like proper baby hair and last but not least we have all the products from skin SkinCeuticals which there's loads of different ones in here so we have I'll just run through them quickly the Floritin high performance uh treatment we have a retinol night treatment a spf 30 sunscreen moisturizer an advanced pigment corrector with daily multi-layer treatment to reduce the appearance of stubborn hyperpigmentation and then last but not least we have a hydrating b5 fluid with hyaluronic acid so lots of goodies for me to try there thank you so much to imagination pr for sending me all those as always uh don't forget to stay tuned for little mini reviews that i sometimes do on my instagram stories for the products that i'm really enjoying i'm gonna go grab some breakfast now grab a coffee get an hour or so's work done before heading into manchester where we're gonna shoot a couple of outfits today and then head out for lunch and then this evening i am going off to our restaurant in burnley and uh, meeting with a few girls there for like some nice wholesome food. The healthy kick might go out the window. We will see. We've arrived. Finally. Finally, we've had some car issues. The car park that I suggested um, was full. Oh God. So we ended up, there was one space left for me, <laughs> but we couldn't find you a space, could we? 
which is a bit of a pain because it's right in the middle of spinning fields and I've been there before but it was on a weekend and there were loads of spaces so later it might be free but then I yeah, guess no. there's no point when I've parked and no, we're going to just sort of pay twice then. we've come to an NCP for Lydia and then we're going to shoot I'm I know there's loads of them there's loads of them in Manchester but they're pricey it smells so we're a couple of outfits down here with Lydia. Just gonna go and try and find Hannah. Not sure where she is yet. I don't know whether it's my phone or hers. Oh, we've come to look how red we are. Red light district. <laughs> come to um, Artisan in Spinning Fields for some lunch. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna show the vlog the toilets because they're so cool. You've got a little photo booth here. Some lanterns. We've got a little dressing area, room, lounge area. This is all the women's toilets. And then they're through there. So it's a fairly cool venue and it's fairly affordable as well, actually. So let's go eat. Thank you. Our food has just arrived. Just gone for, well, I've gone for a goat's cheese and beetroot salad and quinoa. And then um, Lydia's got the same with a side of chicken. What did you go for? Chicken Caesar salad. Put some chippies. So yeah, we're gonna have this and then go shoot one more outfit. And then, can I have one of your chips then? Yeah. Final outfit. Myself and Lydia, of course, the matching. Oh, one second. <laughs> home now and just about to head out for dinner with some friends at our restaurant in Burnley so uh, just thought I'd do a quick outfit of the evening very very casual still still this thrifted bag I'm literally obsessed with this it fits everything in like so if I wanted to take laptop or anything this is like amazing so yeah thrifted uh, in my charity shop haul recently love it this is an old Primark like off the shoulder sweater type top it's got a little tie detail at the back if I can show you and then I've just put this like lacy bralette on underneath from fig leaves my jewelry is uh, Aurelia Aurelia and then this one is gold Luna and then on my wrist I have this one here from Aurelia as well this is Anna Luisa and I really really like this uh, the little like huggies type small hoops are also Aurelia. Uh, jeans are Primark, Gucci belt, sliders are also Primark and like I said keeping it very casual tonight. Tom should be back by the time I get home uh, so he was like driving home from Hull today so I always knew he was going to be back a little bit later hence why I'm going for dinner with the girls. Good morning everyone, today is Thursday. This morning basically I've just been editing Sunday's vlog which I've still got quite a bit to do but um, what do you think of this by the way? It's a little silk scarf that La Mer gave me in that little box of the new face masks that they've just brought out. I thought I would treat myself this afternoon with a little stroll um, around a local town. I'm gonna go to Morrison's because they do these salad boxes which I just fancy one for lunch today. I've got a couple of things I need to post. I need to post the tickets for the giveaway winners over on my Instagram, the Haydock tickets. So again, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I've got more giveaways planned in the future. So do follow me over there on Freya Farrington One. Generally, the way of entering is just simply pop a comment that kind of thing for now i'm gonna head to post office then morrison's or maybe before morrison's there are a couple of charity shops in this area that i'm going to so i might just stretch my legs enjoy some of this summer sun and have a little browse around the charity shops just a quick ootd uh, it's not very exciting at all but <laughs> this top is just like a basic uh vest style top from next which i've just tied in a knot here this is like from fig leaves little lace bralette which i think is super pretty because this top's kind of a little bit sheer so the fact that you can see the lace through it i just think it's quite pretty uh my little silk scarf like i said from la mer um and then these are my pretty little thing trousers which i live in which you guys will have seen lots and then javiana's for comfort my car says 33 degrees this is not fun.
Okay, so you may have seen a little clip there, but I ended up going for that little rattan. I'm really into like rattan and cane like furniture at the minute, so I'll show it to you properly later on. But now I'm off to Morrison's to grab a little salad bowl for lunch. And I'm back home, just like that, just like magic. This is the rattan piece that I picked up from the charity shop. I really like it, I've got to find a home for it. I'm even thinking replace that little display there with this and to kind of store things on top of it like you could even put maybe like a plant and candle on the top there to make it look pretty and then all the paperwork stuff underneath but it was only 1.99 and like i said i'm absolutely loving that like rattan style furniture cane bamboo type you know what I mean? I'm going to enjoy my lunch now with maybe a YouTube video or two and then crack on with uh, finishing editing my... Sorry, this is probably a really bad shot. <laughs> I'm just trying to get that back in the bag. Finish editing Sunday's vlog. So after going to those few charity shops that I did go to this morning, I was inspired to have a stroll to our one in our village. Picked up a few new bits. I need to sneeze. <coughs> the first thing that I got, I'm like... I'm not in love with it. I'm not obsessed with it. It's only 50p and it's one of these, it's a belt, but it's kind of like a trend piece that I've been seeing whereby something high-waisted have like kind of a little bit of a blingy belt to pair with it. So it is, as you can see, just like a little chain mail belt. I've got rattan style um, holders, both 50p each for like either pens and pencils or even makeup brushes that they could work really well with or little flannels in the bathroom. There's so many different uses for things like this that for 50p each. Again, oh no, this one was a pound, sorry. A little rattan style wicker tray. Is that how you would best describe it? So I'm not quite sure what to use this for yet but it was that pretty and for only a pound that it just stood out to me in and amongst everything else i'm planning on doing a bit of a declutter organize in this room as well just because like even these drawers are filled with things that i'm probably never going to use so i can either donate them myself phone's ringing i'll catch you in a bit <laughs> good morning we are off to manchester this morning just to kind of run an errand because tom's helping someone out with car issues so we thought we would make use of it he had to set off really early but instead of <clears throat> instead of getting the train in i said um we could drive together and he can drive back in the other car i can drive back in my car anyway basically we're heading into manchester we're gonna go have try and get some breakfast at moose coffee which is like a favorite of ours they do like really good it's a canadian like they do pancakes and maple syrup and bacon and all that kind of stuff and have a really big menu actually. Um, but just before we set off, I thought I would show you this little parcel that arrived yesterday. It's from Muckberg, which is, sounds like Muckbang. Um, it's a brand that I have tried before and I've got a watch from them. If you have been watching weekly vlogs for a long while, you might have remembered I went to an Ideal of Sweden brunch at Menagerie. And in their goodie bag, they included a Muckberg watch because it's a Swedish brand. They kindly got in touch and offered to send me another one, which is very generous. And I went for the Livia watch. So it comes in packaging like so. And then that is what it looks like. So it's gold with a white face. I have one very similar to this, which has a black face, especially for this time of the year when, okay, today is raining, but when it is a bit warmer, I just think more summery to have, it's more summery to have a white face as opposed to the black one. Yeah, I'm gonna head into Manchester, get that done. I'll show you breakfast. If we do go to Moose, it is really, really good and worth seeing. Um, and yeah, my battery is running low, so I can't get too much more footage. So I'll take you along to Manchester with me. We'll see how far we get. So where we're going, Moose Coffee. Yeah. I thought it was going to be quite dark in here, but it's not too bad. Um, I've just parked up going to Bury this afternoon. I figured en route back, seeing as though I've not really got many plans today, I thought I would pop in via some charity shops, potentially do a separate video if I get enough. If not, just have a browse anyway en route back home. And yeah, so like I said, battery's running low, so I'm not sure how much footage I'll get, but I will stop talking and show you what's in the shops.
Okay, back in my car now. I did pick up a couple of bits, but probably need to do another trip back when it's not a Saturday because honestly, I just, ah, oh, it's so busy. And like trying to film little sneak picket, pickets, picks in um, charity shops, which are fairly small anyway, on a day like today when it was literally just packed, you couldn't even get to a rail. So um, same with all the other shops in Bury today. It's just saturday shopping so i grabbed myself a costa tom's cricket or meant to be cricketing today and tomorrow but as a result of the weather they're not playing tomorrow anymore that match has been moved so what i might do is head home grab like a jumper or a jacket or something because it's kind of windy and cold and maybe just go over and watch him play this afternoon and then tomorrow we've got a chill day of doing absolutely nothing which to be honest uh some of my favorite days by the way i went for a cold brew if ever you've had it it's quite strong so if you like a strong iced coffee got a parcel that i missed so i'm gonna go and pick it up but this weather <laughs> and it's no makeup chill day these little set from calvin klein from fig leaves love it so cozy so my battery is about to die but we've just picked up the parcel and it says i've just like peeled it open Ooh, Christian Louboutin. i think it's from the pr for their makeup so or perfume maybe i don't know should we open it now tom's just gone inside to do sort something else at the post office so da, da, da. oh my god 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 <gasps> exciting okay so they're so extra with their packaging as you can tell i've had the lip liner twice from them and this is nail color so this is a nail polish and i'm kind of scared to open it so it's the the stereotypical christian Louboutin bright red and then we've also got in here a dun, dun, dun. what is it what is it Oh my god, it's like a bright red mascara. Look at that. I wonder what I would look like with bright red mascara. This is so extra. They are, as a brand, lip lacquer in number one Rouge Le Bouton, And that is what that looks like. So I'm set for red lips for the winter and autumn. Although I don't mind a red lip in summer as well. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, I haven't really vlogged today. We pretty much just chilled at home. We've got Wolf of Wall Street on. And we're finishing our week with a lovely Chinese. We've gone for black, what is it? Black bean mushroom. mushroom. Beef and mushroom and black bean. And then I've got lemon chicken, honey and lemon chicken chips and egg fried rice. So much for watching this week's weekly vlog i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already and from us we'll see you next time